Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and we're talking about iOS 16.6. .6. After going through the beta stages, iOS 16.6 .6 will finally be released to the public and that is happening really, really soon. So in this video, I will show you guys everything you need to know regarding iOS 16.6 .6 before you update your device to this latest update. Now, first of all, updating to iOS 16.6, .6, of course, will be very simple for everyone that's on iOS 16.5.1 or even earlier. You can just go ahead and update straight from the general settings. Go here, software update, and make sure that you update from here. Of course, as long as you don't have the betas enabled, you will get iOS 16.6 .6 here once it's released to the public. Now, it will be a bit different if you're on a beta and you want to update to iOS 16.6. .6. If you're on one of the iOS iOS 16.6 .6 betas and you want to install the public version of iOS 16.6 .6, then the easiest way to do that head on to your settings go under software update here and go to beta updates and just completely turn them off and then when it's released you will get the update right here but if you already have the RC version which was released last week if you have it installed on your device then you won't be able to get an update because the update that will be released will be the exact same one as the RC version of iOS 16.6 .6, so you don't need to actually install an update at all you won't get any update at all now from here if you don't want to continue installing betas if you currently had a beta you can just go ahead and switch it off or of course if you want to continue with the next betas you can select them from here whether that will be iOS 16 beta or the new iOS 17 betas. Now as far as features go, don't expect any new features on iOS 16.6. .6. Even though it's a 0.6 update and it's, it is supposed to actually be a bit bigger of an update but it's actually not packed with features and it doesn't even have any features that Apple has mentioned or that we could find out about. There was supposed to be the new contact key verification feature with this update it had actually been shown on the first beta of iOS 16.6 .6. you could find it on the settings app but that's no longer the case you can search here but you won't be able to find anything regarding contact key verification and another feature that was actually supposed to come with iOS 16.6 .6 is the Apple cash and savings account of course for your wallet app but that is not here as well so these are two quite big features that Apple has mentioned and they're working on them but most likely they will actually be released with an update of iOS 17 and not iOS 16.6. .6. And now let's move on and talk about performance. Now, when it comes to performance, iOS 16.6, .6, based on all the feedback that I got from users by just following the Reddit's posts and everything else that people have been talking regarding iOS 16.6, .6, while they have been on beta it is actually quite good when you're talking about performance wise stability it is actually really really good and it should be that way because of course this will be one of the last updates for iOS 16 point for iOS 16 and it will be very very important especially for people with the iPhone 10 the iPhone 8 and the 8 plus which won't be getting a new software update for iOS 17 on their device this will be probably one of the last big updates for them so it's really important important that it performs as it should now when it comes to the Geekbench scores right here here we have this one now this has been performed with the iPhone 11 Pro which is currently on iOS 16.6 .6 RC and you can see right here we have the single core score for iOS 16.5.1 and it's at 1737 while right here on iOS 16.6 is 1733 which is almost identical but you can see right here we have quite a big decrease on the multi-core score even though we should run another test once the public release of iOS 16.6 .6 is out and see if that will change anything. So you can see right here on iOS 16.5.1 the multi-core score is at 4085 while we have 3784 3, on the iOS 16.6 .6, is actually quite a big decrease about 300 points there so that actually doesn't show on the everyday performance I had it I have it right here on this iPhone 11 Pro here and it actually works quite good even though this is an older device it actually is really really smooth so performance wise don't worry about it this will be a great update 
And of course, every time Apple releases a new software update, there are always these worries about the battery life. Will that just cause battery drains or something like that? Well, iOS 16.6 is actually quite good on battery life as well. I've seen like screenshots on Twitter from users like using iOS 16.6 even on beta and the battery life is actually quite good. So expect to have a good battery life on iOS 16.6 probably like a bit better than iOS 16.5.1. And now let's talk about the release. So iOS 16.6, as you probably know by now, it's currently on the RC version, and I'm expecting Apple to actually release it to the public tomorrow, which will be Monday, July 24th. That should be the day that Apple releases iOS 16.6. Usually Apple has been releasing these bigger updates on Mondays, they might even release it on a Tuesday, but I believe Tuesday will be for the beta of iOS 17, the beta 4, and Monday will be the public release of iOS 16.6. So, should you update or not to iOS 16.6? Of course you should. If you're currently on iOS 16.5.1, go ahead and update. And even if you're on an earlier like version of iOS 16, a lot of people don't actually update their devices regularly. Make sure that you have your device updated to iOS 16.6. Even though we don't have a list of new features that have been released with this update, there are a lot of fixes and just like under the hood, security fixes and all that stuff that apple does that will make this update really really important so you make sure you update your device so what's next for ios 16 well i would expect apple to actually release a beta of ios 16.7 that will most likely happen next week because this week will be quite busy we will have ios 16.6 being released most likely as i said tomorrow july 24th then on the 25th or 26th we should get the fourth beta of ios 17 and of course the second public beta of ios 17 so i would actually expect apple to release next week the first beta of ios 16.7 now what do i expect from that update i wouldn't expect anything big probably it won't have any big new features most likely it won't but we should see maybe some fixes, improvements, and all that stuff. Of course, always Apple working to try to make this update as good as possible because there are a lot of people with all their devices that won't be able to update to iOS 17, and this will be the last update that they will get on their devices. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you did, and of course, smash that like button as it helps out a lot. And I will see you on the next one.